Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how to handle the notification in both the foreground and the background using the React Native Push Notification Package. By the end of this video, you will have a fully configured React Native app that can seamlessly display the notification whether the app is active or in the background. In our last video, we successfully set up the Firebase Admin SDK on our Node.js server to send the push notification to React Native app. If you missed that video, check it out. I add a video link in the description. Before we start today's feature, make sure you have some dependencies installed such as React Native Firebase app, React Native Firebase messaging, React Native push notifications. I already installed these dependencies and also make sure you have a download to uh, google service.json file from the firebase console and put it in your project app folder in our last video we created a node.js server with the admin sdk to send the push notification you know to our react native app and we also created a basic react native app with the uh, and configure the react native push notification to handle the notification and we also created a channel using the react Native push notification which allows us to customize the notification sound vibration and importance and we also created a uh, we handle the foreground message with the use of on message listener so now let's quickly for check the foreground notification and you can see our foreground notification handler work correctly so now let's configure the background notification <clears throat> the firebase provide a set background message handler to handle the notification when the app is in the background so we use the set background message handler And we also console log the notification message. And upon receive a notification, we use the push notification dot local notification to display it with the correct title message sound and vibration so created a default channel id And we extract the title and message from the notification message object. And currently we use the default sound. So now our code is completed. So now let's test it. So first we send the foreground message. So you can see the working correctly and now we test the background notification so we just edit the title and close the app and send the notification and now you can see the background notification was working correctly as expected
and that's how we handle the both foreground and the background notification in react native using the react native push notification package for our next project we are going to build a react native app from scratch whether it's a task reminder app or a wallpaper app or something else we want your input drop your suggestion in the comment below and we will consider them for the next tutorial if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more have any question or suggestions drop them in the comment too Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.